it's great to be able to introduce you all to Pedro Casinha, our new manager. It, uh, it's taken a couple of weeks to get here, but we're delighted that uh, we're able to introduce you all to Pedro. And I know Pedro's looking forward to getting to know you all over the, the coming months and years. So if you'd like to kick off, I don't know, Charles, would you like to go first? Pedro, congratulations on your new job. You've said that you've joined the biggest club in Scotland. Um, can you elaborate on why you think that is? Why I think like that? I think uh, I just give you two data or two two numbers. 144 years old, 54 league titles. It's more than enough. You join uh, a club that's been in transition for a while, and you you're taking over a team that is not the best in Scotland at the moment. How do you intend to make it the best? First of all, when I work with one team, for me, the players that complete that squad are always the best ones. So this is the beginning of the process. I do believe that the players can have a better version that they are having at the moment. We need to work on it. We need to, to know each other. But I do believe that these players can do good things until the end of the season. So the assessment from now until the end of the season, it's going to be another step, but we will have time to do it. What did you make of the performance yesterday against Celtic? I just say that we start better and we finish better. And maybe we could have deserved more because if you see the, the scoring chances that both teams have, we had the best chances. So I think that is fair there. The draw should be fair. There's been a lot of um, scrutiny around your appointment because you've never worked in British football before. How do you feel that you're going to be able to adapt to that? I'm, I'm already adapted to it. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a world citizen. And uh, as I do it, for example, in Mexico, and the f when I arrived there, I never been there. I, didn't, I never know nothing about Torreon. I never know nothing about Santos Laguna. I don't never even know nothing about Santos Laguna's players, so as the Mexican competitions. What I propose to do from now is to know the club in a deeper conditions, from bot top and top uh, to bottom and bottom to top, to know deeply the players because they are the main actors of this of this uh, of this ma of this game and to know the, the, the competition. So I'm here to work. I need to know the opponents for sure. I cannot to know all the opponents all of the same time. So now we are focused on our team, respecting the next opponent, which is going to be Hamilton. We know already what some matches from them. We are preparing everything and we keep going like this. So I need to move around on the stadiums to know everything and we need to, to reach it step by step. You said that you're going to appoint uh, us an assistant who knows this club or knows Scottish football. Have you decided who that will be yet? Uh, it, it's not a, a new thing for me because this is the third time I'm having a, a foreign experience or abroad, working abroad. So when I went to Mexico, because of that, I asked for, a, for an assistant local, uh, local coach in order to be, let's say, the, the coach assistant, the, coach, uh, the club's assistant. And with that, it's like one guy to make the bridge in order to help us to know everything, but also to apply our, our philosophy. So that's what we want from this type of, of situations. What happens there, what happens, for example, in Qatar and what's going to happen here, so it's the same procedures. We just have a short list, which is going to be presented by the, by the management side, and uh, we'll be delighted to have some interviews, and after that, we will take one decision. Pedro, Celtic are in a much better position financially. They have better playing squad than Rangers at the moment. How do you intend to close that gap? By a lot of work, by a lot of work. But of course, uh, football is not only about work. As I told you, the main actors from this uh, from this um, business, we can call it like that, are the footballers. So we also going to need some investment. And investment, of course, we are we are discussing about those things. Is is not. It's not the time to present you all the details regarding to that, but of course we are going to have also time to prepare everything in order to, to try not to reduce the gap the way you are saying the gap exists, but the way we want it to be reduced. Have you been given assurances that that investment will come? When I, for me, it's more important um, when you believe on the people that you work with instead of one signature. So I'm coming here 
because I believe on them. And they bring me here because they believe on me. So this is the basis. So when massive club like this is having a strong identity, a strong philosophy, I just want to unite all of this and become then stronger. So this is the basis. If the philosophy from the, from the management side is the same philosophy as the coach, everything gets easier. So we just need to bring along players and we have those players with the same philosophy. So if you have this, the support that we receive all the time from our fans, I think we have everything that guides you on the success. Stuart, with, with, with respect to the man sitting next to you, a lot of uh, former Rangers players, a lot of some former Rangers managers have said in recent weeks that um, now was the time to appoint someone who knew the club inside out. A lot of people are saying that this appointment is a big risk. How would you respond to that? I think we've done a lot of work in Pedro's background. We've done a lot of research. He, he interviewed very well, which you'd expect anyway, given the stage of the process we were at. We, we've then taken uh, a lot of references on, on Pedro, which have all come out positively. So to me, it's not the, the nationality of the man, but the character of the man. And we wanted a strong character. And I believe that's very firmly what we've got in Pedro. Pedro, you said in your interview with the club this morning that you've watched the last four or five games to analyse them. What you've seen of the playing squad here, what do you need more that would allow you to challenge them? Uh, it's an answer that I cannot give it to you right now because right now I cannot change the thing. So this is the squad. And we really trust on the players we have not right now. As I told you since the beginning, for us, this is the best squad in, in, in Scotland. So we are going to work with the best uh, squad in Scotland. We just need to give them that confidence. The question is uh, that uh, it's a quite uh, a huge difference for you to watch the games on video or even on the stands and work with the players on a regular basis. I already met some of the players uh, early in the morning. It was quite a very good uh, impression on the first on the first place and the first moment. But we need to, to establish this uh, this relation with them. I'm a guy about. Uh, relations. I do believe that relations can make the difference, and that's what we are going to do since the very beginning, starting from tomorrow. We understand that you're friendly with Jose Mourinho. Did you ask him for advice before moving here? No, Jose is, a, as you know, is a special guy. He's a fantastic guy, and uh, I will, I'm glad to be his friend. That's all. So he's having his way. I hope to have my way as well. And your agent, Pedro Mendes, obviously played for this club. How important was his? guidance on about this football club and what you've got to expect here. So I ca can tell you like this, when I received one message from Pedro in order that the possibility to be interviewed, he didn't spoke nothing to me about the club. But suddenly it came on my mind, Rangers, I cannot tell you why, but it goes like this. So of course he had that, that importance and he is helping us along the way in order to know the reality and how big is this club. How long do you think it will take for you to do the work that's needed, make the changes that's needed to close that gap mm -hmm. and catch that? Uh, now we are going to the first step. It's in order to create one philosophy. I mean, one style of play. And for me, the style of play is based on behaviors. Players' behaviors according to the moments of the game. So that's what we are going to establish from now. My concern now is for them to understand our philosophy and see if we need to have a balance or change something in our philosophy and, and adapt it to the reality that we are having or we are going to face. Uh, so I cannot give you time. I, I'm going to tell you that uh, we are going to work hard, hard, hard. And our mentality is always about winning. This club needs to think to win all the time. So we want to create a winning philosophy according to um, aggressive, aggressive behaviors on the, from the players on the pitch in, in which uh, each, uh, each one of the moments of the game. So you haven't been given targets and time scales by the board? No, I don't. I, I work on a daily basis. Even my plan cannot go further than a week. Uh, so I prepare one single match at a time. So my, my target now, it's, it's, it's to win on next Saturday and after to win the, the, the game after that and keep going like that. So the targets are like that. If you ask me the targets until the end of this season, we can say, OK, we are below eight points from the second position. I think at least we need to play against that opponent at least twice, I think twice. So that means that uh, 
we are just two points below, according to the way we see the things. So we, we, are, we are chasing, and we like to be in this position, so we need to chase. The other one is the, is the, the, the Scottish Cup. So it's uh, semi-finals. I used to say that uh, when you are in a competition and you reach, of course, when you are in a big club like this, all stages are important and you, you, you want to win it, all stages to reach the final and win the trophy. But generally, when you reach the, the quarterfinals of any competition, you need to sink up to win it. So you are in the semifinals now, just at two games from the trophy. I think we go for it, for sure. Have you spoken with Dave King yet? Do you expect to have a close relationship with him? Yeah, of course. I'm a, as I told him, I'm a guy of relations. I didn't spoke yet. I will be glad to spoke sooner. You, you haven't spoken? I you? haven't spoken yet. Pedro, what's your opinion on Scottish football? You said you've analysed a few games so far, what do you think? So the games I analysed was more about to analyse our team. Uh, of course, now I'm getting, I'm getting on, the, on, the, on the opponent's side, I mean, about, about the competition, how they are being organised, how it's different to play in Ibrox and to play in other stadiums. So we need to know all the situation. But for me, I need to pass one mentality that we need to play in old stadiums like we are playing in Ibrox. I don't, for me, the football is about winning, it's about three points. So three points home or three points away is exactly the same. But I need to know the realities. I need to know how to adapt the things. So for me, for example, when you are in a big club, you need to think that 80% of, of the matches you are going to play, you need to play according to your own identity. That means that 20% you need to add the strategy side when in special special games, special situations or special moments. So that's what we are looking now, to give a real identity to our team, of course, knowing and respecting all the opponents, a lot of sacrifice for me and my, my, uh, my technical staff in order to know everything, to get the information, because I also believe that as more information you have, as better decisions you can take. So that's what we are trying to do. You will work with a director of football. I suppose that's not an unusual situation. It's not unusual at all. So I'm used to do it. It's uh, once again, it's a question of relations. It's a question of sharing the philosophy, and it's a question of knowing how to work together, in which level each one of us is is performing his uh, his work. Did so it you be unusual that you are being appointed before a director of football is coming in? Normally, a director of football would have mm -hmm. a say. Yeah, yeah, because. It's urgent for me to start working with the team. It's working in another level. How soon are you expecting to appoint a director of football, Stuart? Not been a time frame on it, Charles, but we are working away on it in the background. Clearly it's been key for us to get Pedro in and try and get that position sorted. And then we can actually let Pedro get in, assess the squad, and we'll work away in another position. Has that time frame changed for you? Because I know at the start of the search for a new manager and director of football, you were hoping to do the director of football first. I, I mean, recruitment's more of an art than a science. Charles, you know, it's, uh, it, it takes twists and turns. So you have to, you have to just adapt to, to that as it goes through. And it's more important to get the right man in than we do something quickly. And likewise with the manager appointment and all the appointments we make, it's about getting the right person into the club that, that's going to make a difference. So what type of pressure is on Pedro at the moment in terms of a result expected on this season or has the appointment been made now with a view to getting himself ready for next year? There's, it's twofold. I mean, we want to do the best we can in the league. You know, we want to get as high up the league as we can, and if that's second, then great. Clearly, that's that's the target, and we'd we'd love to win the Scottish Cup. We'd love to bring a trophy back to to, uh, to the stadium. So th those are that, but it's, it's absolutely vital that Pedro gets the two months to assess the squad and to start building plans for next season. And that absolutely, we need to we need to make sure we're we're out of the traps as quick as we can be for next season. Just two more, please. Pedro, there is a a video that appeared last week of you congratulating Celtic on their title win last season, do, what kind of relationship do you have with Celtic, is the one there? The relation was not, uh, not my relation or personal relation, it was a relation between, I think you know, Green and Blanco as they call it, so in, by that time we were working in Santos Laguna, they asked me to do that and I did it, so quite normal situation to do it with two clubs that having that relation and by the moment in time that uh, that situation happened. There had been a situation you did some scouting for them in the past, was that uh, it was some some sort of a relation when I was here on the uh, on the courses on the uh, because I took the the West the West Advance here so as I, roughly uh, almost uh, middle of the pro license and uh, I met John Park by the time so that was the relation 
that sent me to, to Santos Laguna because Pepe Riesta, the, the football director, was here. And from that, uh, that uh, period came, uh, came the relation and that, that was all. Pedro, have you been in the dugout at Ibrox before with Panathinaikos? And can, you, can you tell us what you remember from... I remember everything. Uh, uh, this is the blue room, right? Mm -hmm. So I was in this room I was never <laughs> in that time. But uh, as you know, the, the, the British teams normally receive very, very well the, uh, the, the opponents. And when I was in Panathinaikos, when I was assistant coach, one of my main tasks was to scout the opponents and analyze the opponents. So we play against uh, against Rangers. I think it was 2007, the the, the year that uh, Rangers reached the final against Zenit. And I was here. I was here to watch them uh, the match um, against Kilmarnock. I think Kilmarnock. it was. They they won six six nil in that match. And I return again to um, to scout them, but playing away in Inverness. So that's the way the the methodology was being done. And I do remember that I was here very well very well received uh, get it on the on the director's box watching the game and coming back to Greece <laughs>